the little man drank more whisky. I thought I was safe here in London, he said. Then I saw two men standing in the street outside this block. I recognised one of them. What did you do? I asked. I watched them from my window, said Scudder. The man I recognised came in. He spoke to the porter. About what? I don't know. But I think he is here to kill me. That's why I need you to hide me. He sat there, blinking like an owl. I was starting to like the little chap. I trusted him. You can stay here for the night, I said. I'll lock you in this room and keep the key. But I warn you, Mr Scudder, don't try any tricks. I have a gun and I'm prepared to use it. For two days, Scudder stayed in my back room. He read books and wrote a lot in his notebook. In the evening, we played chess. He beat me easily. On the third day, he began to get nervous again. In his notebook, he wrote a list of all the days until June the 15th. He ticked off each day with a red pencil, making notes beside each one. That evening, I went out to dinner with a business contact. I came back about half past ten for our chess game. I had a cigar in my mouth as I pushed open the back room door. The light was off. Had Scudder already gone to bed? I flicked the switch, but there was nobody there. Then I saw something in the far corner which made me drop my cigar. My guest was lying on his back. There was a long knife through his heart. <laughs>